Hey. Woo. So we are making this video. We've got one main reason, but for starters, we just want to kind of announce that we are really excited that at the end of the year we are going to Orlando. Orlando. wanted to do for ages but we just never really had the money for it and we don't really now <laughs> but um we've kind of scrambled together what all we've got we've got some cheap flights so we're really excited but the main reason for the video is because today we get to pick our fast passes so Ooh. we will get to pick it'll be 9 p.m melbourne time um which is 7 a.m florida time last time i was at walt disney world they just had the old fast pass system Whereas now, FastPass system, you can book through the app or the website. So it's free for everyone. If you're going to Walt Disney World, you get fast passes for free. But the time that you can access or book those fast passes changes depending on certain circumstances. Yeah. Of so which they will explain. Yeah. <laughs> everyone, like no matter what, can book 30 days in advance. So if you're going for like five days, you'll have to book five days in a row. 30 days for everyone if you're not staying at a Disney resort or anything. Um, but that's a bit annoying because say you're staying for five days, or like you're going to Walt Disney World for five days, each day like 30 days out. So 30 days out from your first day you can book fast passes and then the next day you can book for your next day. So you kind of have to keep coming back. Like consecutive? Yeah, like consecutive. So it'll have to be 30 days out from each day. Um, Is it really obvious that she's the one that knows what's going on and I just I like kind to of research. <laughs> no! <laughs> um, but if you're staying at a Walt Disney World hotel, and I think there are actually a couple of like affiliated hotels that now do it, um, you can book 60 days in advance and you can book for your whole stay. I think it's up to like 14 days or something. So if you're staying at a Disney hotel for 10 days, from 60 days from your check-in day, you can book for the whole stay. Um, which is what we're doing. We mm -hmm. actually are staying at a Disney place. I don't think we'll say it yet. No? No. Oh, it's going to be a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the fancy. cheapest yeah. ones. <laughs> um, yeah, so we get to book 60 days out, which is really, really exciting. Stace has already made a, a list of steps for me to follow. Not just a list of what fast passes we want, but this what fast passes I have to choose. So I'll just show a brief. But yeah. The order in which I need to go on and choose. And she wants well, us both on our laptops at the same time. She's going to do the beginning of the trip and I'm going to do the last few days. Well, it's stressful. Everyone says how hard it is to get certain fast passes and like to be on right on time and stuff. So I'm just trying to, you know, be proactive and make sure we get what we want. It'd be a completely different trip if it was me who was in charge, but I'm thankful that it's not. But yeah, so it's free. You get to pick three per day. You can only pick from one um, park each day. So like if you're booking a fast pass for Magic Kingdom, you can only book Magic Kingdom in advance. So you get three and then once you're there at the parks, once you've used your third one, you can then book more if there are more available. Some of the parks have different tiered fast yeah. passes. So I think Magic Kingdom's the only park that doesn't have a tier system. So for example, like at Animal Kingdom, you can, you can only, only book one Avatar ride. Yeah, with fast passes, so we're gonna have to book like hopefully a flight of the passage. <laughs> What's it called? Flight of passage. <laughs> so we're gonna do oh hopefully a flight of passage, and then I assume on that day that we go to Animal Kingdom, the first thing we'll do is line up for the other one. The other one. Yeah. The other Avatar ride. Yeah. And then like Hollywood Studios is really annoying because like pretty much every ride is tier one, and you're only allowed one tier one. So kind of hard to do every single ride. Well, it's, you can't do every single ride fast pass, but I guess yeah. you didn't line up. But yeah, so it's just a little intro. Um, we will check back in. I think it's the time now. So it's quarter past eight, so we've got 45 minutes. She's been doing a countdown since like 12 hours ago. <laughs> 12 excited, hours until fast passes. <laughs> 7, 10. 1 hour, 50 minutes till fast passes. Yeah, right. anyways, we'll check back in at like 5 to 9. And We're going to screen record. Fast pass now and make a selection. And should 
I have to get started or not yet? No, I'm gonna refresh this and press get started. <sighs> 30 seconds. What else? Who's nervous? I just wanna be done so I can go to bed. Oh, I got 10 seconds. Refreshing. Not right now. You've got Already hour. done. We'll refresh one more Five. time. Oh, can you pick afternoon? Then you can change the time of day. No, no like back. Oh, okay. Maybe do 205. 205. I think. 205 to 305. Me, you. One day in the second. Okay. Okay, I'm looking for Slinky Dog now. This. This is so stressful, oh my god, it's not loading. Oh my god, there's only 5 to 5 pm for Slinky Dog, I'm just gonna do it. But then we don't get any other fast parts. I know, but. What did you say you were gonna do? Oh, now it's saying 6.15. Yes! So I'll just do it for now and we can change it later. That's another one. That's so late, I can't believe that. So generally, you wanna try and do them before 3 pm so you can like make the most of. Um, getting that extra one that's in the park, but it's like dog's super popular. Okay, rock and roller coaster. These are the times, pretty much any time we want. Gonna do that. Should I'm we gonna just go like 12? Ooh, do you want a lunch around then? Mm. I'd go a bit after. But I thought you'd want to go early so we can get other ones in.
Ay, ay, ay. So this video is gonna go for two hours. It's really not working. I just keep getting Olaf. It's not helpful when you get the Olaf message when you're trying to get the Olaf right. Mm. <laughs>
show more times or show all times. Yeah. Don't, it does have up the top, like you can select morning, afternoon or evening, but from what I gather if you do that, it'll just pick three random times from the morning, afternoon or evening. So I thought that was all that was available, but... So I'm going to see the earliest day that we've finished. But look, we've covered everything. We've even managed to get in a few shows. Yeah. We've literally random. got everything we wanted. Yeah. We've only gotten um, Slinky Dog once. Yeah. Neither of us have ever been on it. I mean, we, we could try and do it instead of Rock and Roller Coaster, but that's another one we really wanted to do. No, I want to go on Rock and Roller Coaster, but how do we do that when they're at different parks? They're at the same park. Oh, are they? Yeah. I'm just worried about, I'm wondering if we should swap one of the Star Tours for something else. They're all shows, yeah, and that's like our last day of Hollywood Studios. Isn't that Indiana Jones show meant to be good, or do I have to make up? Yeah, but I think they go so often that you can just rock up. Okay. I just don't even know if I want to go on Star Tours tour. Yeah, but we don't have to. Like, on the day we decide we don't want it, we can just delete that Fast Pass. Okay. Yeah. That was our Fast Pass, so we got everything we wanted, which is good. We've learnt some lessons. I can't believe I booked 615 Slinky Dog. When there was probably more times if I clicked on it. Let's ask a question. Can you own, on the day that you're at the park, say, okay, we use our first fast pass at 9.50, do we get to choose a new one then, or do we have to use you all three? Use all three. The second you scan your third one, you can just pick another one. Cool. Bye. It's late. I've got work tomorrow. <laughs> I'm tired. We've got a game of Mario Kart to finish that we've done this <laughs> yeah. I'm going to win. Okay, cool. Well... It's gonna be a freaking pain to edit, Ooh. but I'll do my best. She'll do it. <laughs> okay, bye. Bye, see you in Orlando.